Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Daffy's Lecture. Before we start, you may want to click on the bell button or subscribe for notifications of new videos. Today's lesson is all about the Sumerian civilization. Sumeria is located in the southernmost tip of ancient Mesopotamia, just like what you can see on the screen right now. That's the location of Sumeria. Sumerians are known for their high degree of cooperation with one another and their desire for great things. They are not contented with the basic things that life can offer. This desire pushed them to develop many things connected with science and technology. First, cuneiform. It is a system that utilizes word pictures and triangular symbols, which are carved on a clay using wedge instruments and then left to dry. Cuneiform allowed the Sumerians to keep records of things which, with a great historical value, are their everyday life. Second is the Uruk city. The Sumerians were able to build the city using only mud or clay from the river which they mix with reeds, producing sun-baked bricks, which is a true engineering feat. They used the bricks to make houses that protected them from the harsh weather and to build a wall around the city that prevented wild animals and neighboring raiders from entering. Another one is the Great Ziggurat of Ur. The Ziggurat is also called the Mountain of God was built in the same manner that they constructed the city of Uruk. Without much building materials, the structure was constructed using sun-baked bricks. The ziggurats serve as a sacred place of their chief god, where only their prayers were allowed to enter. Another one is irrigation and dikes. The Sumerians created dikes and irrigation canals to bring water from lands and at the same time, control the flooding of the rivers. This method was considered as one of the world's most beneficial engineering works. Through the dikes and canals, the Sumerians were able to enjoy year-long farming and harvesting, which increased their food production. Another one is sailboats. At that time, the wheel was not yet invented. The main mode of transportation was through the waterways, such as rivers and seas. Boats were used to carry large quantities of products and were able to cover large distances. Wheels. The first wheels were not made for transportation, but for farm work and food processes. With the use of the wheel and axle, mass production was made easier. Farmers were able to mill grains with less effort and less time. The plow. The plow was invented to dig the earth in a faster pace. As the plow breaks the ground, the farmer would just drop the seeds and farm work would really already be done. With this tool, the farmers could cultivate larger parcels of land faster, enabling them to mass produce food without taking so much effort and time. Roads. They made the roads with the same technology they used in making the sun baked bricks that laid down on the ground. They later poured bitumen, a black sticky substance similar to the asphalt, to smoothen the roads. The invention of roads was very useful, especially during the rainy season when traveling in soft and muddy roads proved to be too difficult. Thank you. And that ends the short literature video presentation for Sumerian civilization. Our next video will be talking about the Babylonian and the Egyptian civilization. Thank you everyone for watching and have a great day. Bye for now.